Taurus. Ooh, after all that energy last week, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. It is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign because it is an energy reading. So uh, always check out your Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. You'll be surprised that all those energies are impacting you all the time. If you want a deeper reading and to continue the message with me, um, there's always an extended message, and I hope that you guys can join. That link is right below in the description box. Please remember, if you haven't already, Taurus, to subscribe to the channel and then like this video and select all notifications so you know when I upload your favorite content. Taurus comes out every Thursday between 8 and 9 a.m. over on the West Coast USA. East Coast USA, that's around 1 p.m. And then Western Europe, that's around 6 p.m. But ultimately, I hope everyone around the world gets this message and it re re arrives at just the perfect time. Um, if you want more content, and I hope you do, I have a second YouTube channel. I'll attach the link above. It's called Astrology Motivation. And um, yeah, you can find that right here on YouTube. It's got awesome content. And if you want to go live with me, uh, I do a daily tarot card reading on my Instagram feed at born underscore without underscore boundaries. All right, you ready? Let's go Taurus. None of this energy has been light or easy, but it has been exceptional, beautiful, and extremely spiritual this week. Uh, Jupiter is making sure of that. Ace of Wands is here, Taurus. It's the first card out for you, and it means that there's a new beginning, a new start, a new passion, a new roadway. The Four of Swords is you're taking your time with it. You're being reflective, or maybe you've thought a lot about this. This could just be an opportunity, right, that's on the table that you are thinking about. But we also have the Seven of Wands, which means that you're sticking up for or maintaining an integrity. So what does this mean? This means that you are either holding out, waiting out, or striving for a specific standard and you are not coming down from that standard and you would rather wait for the right opportunity than to chomp at the bit at whatever opportunity has come to you um and i i'm going to say to you taurus the opportunity that you've been waiting for is here now how that's playing out in your life we're going to get deeper into that. But the opportunity that you've been waiting for is here. And it's ultimately because you just did not, um, you know what you wanted. You know what you wanted. And you can feel it. Oh, my God. Ooh, I can, I'm almost tingling because it's so close. You're touching it. Or you can touch it. Even if this hasn't been officiated yet, I guarantee you it's something that you can touch or somebody who absolutely wants to be touched. I, I guarantee you. The Ace of Wands is also something that you're passionate about, right? The Ace of Wands, I've heard some readers call it big dick energy. And why have I heard them call it that? Because that's what it looks like on the cards. There's heartbreak in your past. There's major disappointment, major disappointment here. This came up in your past, suffering, sadness. What is all this about? Oh yeah, bad luck because of, a. Uh, 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 oh, there's something really fucked up going on. I can tell you that right now. Ooh, there's Queen of Chalices here. There's a Cancer Scorpio Pisces that you're dealing with. Ooh, this is something, this is a person that they're just, they're just, unconditional love there's unconditional love they just they're just spewing it out they just want to give 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 but there seems to be that there has been all this badness plastered on top of them and i don't know what the hell this is about but this is like somebody who's extremely selfish um somebody who's extremely bad luck or they've had a lot of bad luck in their life and they become extremely self-centered or they bring a lot of bad karma to the table and there's this money grubbing energy. Somebody's a money grubber here and somebody is assuming jumping into something too quickly. So all of this has been plastered onto this person who is really good and really kind and really caring. And I don't know if this is you or them, but ultimately I'll tell you right now, there's some fucked up shit going on here because it's almost like this landed on top of this really beautiful energy. So... It's, 
what is this? I, I'm a, I'm a, I calls it like I sees it. I think this is false. I think Taurus, this is false information that has been really used to slander somebody or hurt somebody or distract you from this true somebody. Uh, it could also be the heartbreak in the past. Like having been with somebody who was just a troublemaker, someone who was a money grubber, somebody like rushing into this bad decision, not knowing somebody well enough. They ended up being uh, somebody who wanted to take advantage of you or it ended up being an opportunity that was completely egotistical and um, ran you, ran you, like ran you in the wrong direction. And it's almost like, but it's all being superimposed. It, it's it's like, being, what, what is this? It's all being superimposed. It's all being superimposed. Like this, this energy, what is this energy? Um, Four of Wands is here. This is something that's going to make you so happy. Really, it's something that's going to make you so happy. This could be marriage. This is just coming together with somebody, buying a new house. This is this is beautiful. See things clearly. This is the Queen of Swords. This is Gemini, Gemini Virgo, no, Gemini Libra, Aquarius energy, Queen of Swords. Um, somebody who is clarifying things. Somebody who see things, sees things clearly. This is somebody who is there. They have they have judgment. I feel like I feel like there's somebody that's intervening in this situation where um, they need to clarify some stuff for you. They need to be the bringer of the message of, let me tell you what this, what's really going on. This could also be changing a new direction, making a decision to choose a different path or choose to see things in a different way and see joy where you could only see fear or doubt. Like changing your perspective is huge here. Okay. Okay, please clarify because this is too ambiguous. Luck is on your side. Oh my God, I got that card in today's reading, in the Daily Tarot card reading. Luck is on your side, new moon in Sagittarius. Okay, that's good to know. Expect powerful change. There is something here. It's going to work out for you. Um, so there's a change. End of a tough cycle approaches. Oh my God, major breakthroughs. This is that Sagittarius energy of just like letting things go, letting things flow, thinking the future. Also, the arrow has been pulled back. It's now released. It's about to hit its target. Um, expect powerful change. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Something was hurting you. And I, I'll tell you, I, it's almost like something was hurting you because... Um, of a false assumption about it or there was a false assumption about you and the opportunity is coming back around to you this isn't like a mercury retrograde thing this is like, well this is a mercury retrograde it's almost like we're gonna write this wrong and give Taurus the opportunity that they should have had but I think it's I think it's just more straightforward than that and I did feel a little bit of malice here what is this You could have gotten the wrong impression of something too. I am authentic. Oh, sucky, sucky. I will heal. <clears throat> you will heal from your heartaches in the past by taking this risk and believing in the opportunity of today. Be, being authentic is important. Letting somebody see, it's almost like you, you hid yourself or you were hidden from... Um, who are you truly? What do you really feel? This is also a sense of this is an authentic energy. There's there's authenticity here. The truth. I just feel like the truth is coming out. But what is that truth? I don't want to be ambiguous. I want Taurus to basically know. There's some sort of woman here coming out again. Like it's almost like the truth about somebody. The truth about somebody is coming out. And it's going to change your fucking world. We have building blocks, one after the other, step by step. So things were being put together. I think you're putting things together, like putting two and two together. In Libra season, this is peace. Um, sort of, um, as you, like putting things together is helping you find a sense of peace. 
Okay, but what is put together? What is put together? Orphaned. Somebody abandoned you. Somebody abandoned you and didn't tell you why. It's like they kind of just like left you hanging. And it's almost like there's this question of, but why? And they never let you know. So can you let me know, Spirit? Why did they abandon you? I don't think they did. I think it was made to look like they walked away. Check to see if any of your messages were deleted. The thing is, you proceed forward by, okay, by the book means that your life is going to be kind of like smooth and easy going. But I felt like there was a problem. Because you do things by the book, somebody was easily able to uh, mess with those books. I really need to understand what's going on here. Um, we have heart chakra and spiritual strength. Okay, this is something very sensitive and very personal to you. And ultimately, you can feel it in your heart. And honestly, I just saw 1111. Taurus, this is definitely meant for you. Um, and this, this, is, this is definitely like it makes your heart glow. It touches your heart space. And you've had to believe in this a long time. And I think that you do. Ultimately, your heart is still very connected to this. It's never, it's never given up. If, if you just listen to what your heart is saying, you already have it. You're already connected. But, but it's, this, it's this other stuff that's getting in the way, this 3D world. Movement, choices, and decisions. Holy shit, your world's about to change, Taurus. You're, change, you're, you're changing the way that you decide things. And I think it's because it's like you become so predictable, you've become easy to manipulate. And ultimately, the, the ability here to get around the manipulation or the convolution, the confusion or the bullshit is to do something different. Do something that other people can't predict. Take a turn on the wild side, babe. Take a turn on the wild side. Taurus. Taurus. You make the different decisions. It's amazing how your world becomes a different place. Somebody is coveting you. This is very covetous energy. Somebody has been trying to collect you. Somebody has been very greedy or very admiring of you. So this could be good news or bad news because it's almost like this person is arrogant enough to believe that they deserve you. But now, and, and they've been admiring you from a distance, they want you. This could be good news to you, but I feel like this is the manipulator. This is somebody who allows themselves to hide in the shadows, acts like they're a little small and innocent, and kind of like, but they're actually very covetous they're very covetous of something that you want or something that you have. Can you tell me who this person is in Taurus's life? Oh, shit. Uh, creativity. Uh, somebody from the past. Um, somebody who has an artistic past. Um, some Could be somebody who is a very creative person. Oh, this is somebody who is very authentic. Right? Somebody who gets to themselves. But maybe they haven't told... No, I don't feel like this is the same person. I don't feel like somebody... No. Or it's saying that somebody's desire for you or this potential, like an opportunity that's there for you, has been hidden from you. Um, this is also an opportunity maybe in creativity from the past, timeless earth. What you're trying to make of yourself, what you really want to be, who you really want to be, all that you are, um, all that you ever dreamed or maybe more than you ever dreamed. Now coming into possibility, being, being something that's real or could be really realized. But who is this person? They hide themselves. They're an actor. Okay, I don't, I don't, I don't really like the ambiguity anymore. Like, what is this person? Oh, two of wands. They're networking. They help you network. They, they connect. They're part of your friend group.
but they're the devil. They could be a Capricorn. They're definitely somebody out for their own greed and very unhealthily attached to you. That's crazy. And I'll tell you right now, you may be in love with them. Maybe um, they're, they want to bask in your sunlight. They're really, really connected to all the joy and light that you bring. Or there's some sense of you're addicted to them. They're part of your network. You need them. You trust them. You rely on them. You depend on them. Um, that's a devil energy. Lots of desire, lots of passion. There could also be hidden desire or hidden passion here. So what's the sun card here? The sun card and the devil. This is somebody almost that's irresistible. That's kind of, that could be what it is. Somebody that you find irresistible. Like you have an irresistible attraction to this person. Like your connection to this person may be just like overwhelming and maybe you're covetous of them. And that's okay. This is a sense of what are you going to do about it? Yeah, somebody is not really, really, re yeah. Somebody is not telling somebody, happy birthday, Dick Danny, just how much they really want them. This is almost like bring your feelings into the public eye. Somebody has to like, you have to, your, your feelings, their feelings, if, especially if they're the water sign, their feelings are about to come to light. Their feelings are about to be made certain to you. Um, this is also a sense of wanting somebody out loud. Uh, you're, you're like somebody is keeping to themselves how much they desire or how much they want somebody. I don't know what the fuck this is, but I know it's important. Please guide me to the card that I need to clarify this for Taurus. Who is this person? Father Sky, trust in the unknown. You, okay, you have been feeling this for the longest time, but you, okay, this is what you've been feeling for the longest time. This is also Capricornian energy, so it could, no. I will heal. Trust in the unknown. Some disappointment was here too. But this in the past. No, that's all they have. This is God itself. Drawing faith from Father Sky. Trust in the unknown. If something takes a turn, something's unexpected, trust in it. All I keep hearing, Taurus, is trust in what your heart knows, not what your brain and eyes have seen and understood. Because that's the Leo energy. That sense of like connecting through your heart space not the 3D space, which could be challenging for you. Or trying to connect. No, this devil energy is, it could also, like I said, extreme attraction. Ugh. I need clarification, dude. Longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. This is who you really belong with. These are the people that you really belong with. This is the place that you really belong. And it wants you to. Birthing a new age. Birthing new creations. Dreaming a new world into being. I'm telling you. Your world is about to change. And it's in a beautiful way. Because it's in alignment with your soul purpose. With, with your highest calling. This is also a sense of something that you've greatly desired and constantly been called to is coming to you. How is that playing out? 
I'm gonna. I hope you can join me for the extended. The link is below, Taurus. Um, we're gonna go into career, money, and love, and how all this breaks down into all those aspects of your life. Um, and just dig down into some more answers. Um, I love you guys. Thank you for your views. Don't forget to like this video and share it on your social media platforms. Show you love. Um, leave comments below. And thank you for watching this video. I will see you guys soon. Bye.